just wanted to give you guys some information here. Uh, I've been showing you about on the radio of how to make these things happen. I just want to show you where you can get this information if you're sitting at home and you've watched the video and you say, gosh, I want to write that down or I want to print that out. How can I do that? Uh, this is the U.S. Coast Guard's uh, communication page here uh, talking about how to contact the U.S. Coast Guard through HFDSC. And these are the five frequencies that the U.S. Coast Guard monitors. They monitor these five uh, DSC frequencies. And this is, again, digital selective calling. They monitor these from uh, Portsmouth, uh, which is Chesapeake, Virginia, from Boston, from Miami, from New Orleans, from Point Reyes, California, from Honolulu, and Kodiak, Alaska. All of these Coast Guard stations monitor all five of these DSC frequencies 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Now, currently, the uh, U.S. Coast Guard is only accepting test calls if you want to test your system. Only accepting test calls from November Mike November and from November Mike Charlie from Virginia and from California and also this isn't on here but also now from New Orleans. They're only doing this on 4207.5. It's unfortunate that they're set this up just for that one channel for test calls only, uh, but um, they're hoping to change that. So I'm not going to delve too deeply into that right now. You see. I wanted to highlight HF Digital Selective calling frequencies and what they're used for worldwide, again, for clarification purposes. These channels here, these HF DSC channels, along with 2187.5, that's the medium frequency, or MF DSC frequency. These are the six international DSC calling and safety frequencies. In addition to about 84, 85 stations worldwide monitoring these five HF frequencies here, there are more than 450 coast stations worldwide that are monitoring the 2187.5 medium frequency DSC. Again, these five HF DSC frequencies are monitored worldwide for about, by more than 80 different coast stations. But the most important thing I think that people forget about is that all large solace grade vessels sailing the high seas are also required to monitor these frequencies. They are not required to monitor the voice signal sideband frequencies and have not been required to since 1999. It's important to remember here that not all ships at sea of course monitor all of these channels all the time but they are required to monitor 2187 excuse me, 2187.5, 8414.5, plus one other channel anytime they are in operation at sea. You'll find that most of them, however, have a six-channel scanning DSC receiver built into their GM DSS consoles or other radio systems on board. So in addition to being able to call uh, a coast station such as WLO or U.S. Coast Guard or Australian New Zealand Coast Guard or something like that, you're also able to contact other vessels at sea this way. This is one of the most important features of HF Digital Selective Calling that's often overlooked. I probably ought to do a video specifically about this in the future, but I just wanted to clarify this, that if you're trying to raise a ship at sea, such as send out your position or you have a safety or urgency thing, you can send an all ships call. And there's going to be many, many, many vessels that are going to be monitoring these frequencies here that are going to get your call. This is one of the most important features of HF Digital Selective Calling. Even though we talk about it as raising the Coast Guard or uh, raising a coast station for something important, uh, raising other vessels is also one of the most important features of HF Digital Selective Calling. This is the uh, communications page for the Coast Guard, and I'm going to go close up on that, uh, on that web page so you can see it. And this is where you're going to get the information on uh, how to contact the U.S. Coast Guard. Um, we've uh, shown you on the videos of how to do this. Uh, we've shown you the uh, DSC calls to the Coast Guard. I've shown you voice calls to the Coast Guard. I've also shown you DSC calls to WLO radio and uh, voice calls to WLO radio. But uh, in case you want to print this information out, um, you're going to find this information on the U.S. Coast Guard uh, communications page. And this tells you the different Coast Guard stations, the frequencies that they monitor for voice contact, 
and the times that they monitor those frequencies. And you'll note, if you're sailing the east coast of the U.S., the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, that kind of thing, the North Atlantic, you're going to note that your primary contact station, November by November, is only monitoring 24 hours a day on 6 and 8 megahertz. Um, it's, uh, this is on voice, on voice frequencies only. Uh, DSC, they monitor 4, 6, 8, 12, and 16, 24 hours a day. So this is why using your DSC uh, radio, such as, well, here it's DSC Distress, but we're using a digital selective calling, which again, as I say, it's like a text message being sent to them. That's why it's so very, very important because only the U.S. Coast Guard now is monitoring these frequencies. The Australian uh, 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 safety, uh, Maritime Safety Organization also monitors these frequencies 24 hours a day, and um, I believe the New Zealand's also still monitor those. Tapo Radio also monitor those. So New Zealand and Australia and the U.S. Coast Guard are the only ones that still have a voice radio watch on the single sideband radio. Every other place in the world is only monitoring these DSC frequencies only. And when I say every other place in the world, I want to make sure you understand there are currently over uh, 84, 85 stations worldwide that are monitoring these DSC frequencies 24 hours a day. And that means that you are always within radio range should you need to send a distress call. You're always within radio range of one of those stations anywhere in the world. Uh, most probably uh, you're going to be, uh, most people listening to this, uh, most people watching these videos are going to be within range of either the U.S. Coast Guard, uh, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, or the New Zealand Maritime Safety Authority. Um, unless you're right in the middle of the southern Indian Ocean, uh, then you'll probably be closer to the uh, uh, southern, excuse me, South African uh, Maritime Authority, which also monitors these. So with those four uh, nations and those four systems involved, uh, those are four first world nations that have uh, navies and coast guards and uh, search planes and that. And uh, you're always going to be within radio contact of them with HF Digital Selective Calling. Remember that, HF Digital Selective Calling, HFDSC. This is not voice radio communications. That's why you have an ICOM M802 on board. If it doesn't have a red distress button on it here, it's not an HFDSC radio. This is how you're going to get a hold of all these people worldwide anytime you need help. Or anytime you need a weather forecast or you need some assistance with something. So again, remember it's www.navcenter.uscg.gov slash question page name equal CG com, excuse me, comms call. And that's this website here that we've been looking at for all of the U.S. Coast Guard uh, radio and communications information.